today I'm just dedicating it to like just take care of Tanisha Day. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Tanisha, in case you guys don't know. Um, and today's vlog, um, oh, happy Saturday by the way, um, June 12th. Um, today's vlog is pretty much just going to be all day, just me, self-care day. But yeah, let me stop rambling and I'm just going to go ahead and cut these out. Bunch of these, I love these things. I'm about to clean my keyboard. I'm sitting up here looking at all the dust that's on it. But I've seen this on um, Pinterest a couple years ago, and I've always wanted to get it, but I've never ordered it. And I didn't know like which brand was a good brand to get. But lo and behold, my mom gave me like a pack of these, like six of them. So I have five extra, and these last a good while. Look, it's, it's just so fun. Oh, I have my computer. It shouldn't be on. I got the lid closed, so uh, I gotta see what's what's being pressed. Let me see what's going on right here. Best to do this when you don't have it attached to your computer, so you're not doing things that you have no business doing. Uh, okay, but this is so fun. Um, this is actually a stress reliever too. So sometimes when I need to just you know blow off some steam and calm myself down or whatever i just go cleaning different things start with my keyboards and my monitors and all the little crevices where dust gets inside um this stuff is amazing um and again if you guys are curious and i don't know where i'm telling you guys my mom and you guys will probably notice a trend in my videos i'm always like my mom got me this my mom gave me that Cause she's always ordering me things or getting me things and things she thinks about me and she's like oh i got this for you like she sent me a message today and told me i have two things coming from amazon you're always gonna hear me say yeah my mom got me this because one of the things that i'm using in my skincare or my my pamper session today is a face steamer i've been wanting a face steamer for the longest i kept telling my mom i was going to get one but before i could get myself one she ordered me one <laughs> and she ordered it while she was visiting me earlier this spring um I love my mother. She's always getting me like, she's always thinking of me. And it just, it makes my heart full. I love her so much. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what my mother, I'm gonna show you the face mask she got me in case you guys are interested. Um, this one is by the brand Beauty Nymph. Um, it's a facial steamer. I cannot wait to use this today. I've been meaning to use it for the longest. So this is what it'll look like once it's all together. Okay, so this portion right here is the facial mask. The part that you will like hold, hold, put your face over basically. Um, this is, this is the measuring cup that you'll need. And then what is this? This is the mess the nasal mask which i have to read the instructions on what that's for and then of course this is the um what is this called <clears throat> it says intensity now but for all intents and purposes this is the the base of the entire thing and i'm assuming this is where you'll put the water in here somehow and I'm thinking this is probably you probably put this in here to put um because it says nasal so I'm assuming this is for like if you're trying to not have a face like 
you're not trying to clean out your pores, but you're trying to like clear your, your nasal passages. But I have a I have a humidifier for that, so I don't know how often I'll use this, but who knows? But actually, I might because my humidifier is not a heated humidifier. My humidifier is a cool one. So yeah, so I'm gonna be using this in my face care regimen once I get out the shower, and um, I may film a little bit of that and show you guys because. I think it'll be interesting. Got myself inside all this tension. A feeling I never was expecting. I don't see the pros, don't know the cons. Get the whites Do you know why? Triggered inside this situation Wonder if we maybe were mistaken Don't wanna talk, don't wanna see Don't wanna feel it What is left? I've been thinking about us And the things you say How you don't feel enough To come share my So I'm back. Um, I've already done my little facial. It was amazing. Like my spa day is just going so well. I'm so happy. Um, so this is the foot spa that I'm using. Um, this is the Walmart brand, which you can tell if you you know recognize the Equates name here. Um, I made a mistake and I thought I had got the one that heats up, but I didn't. Um, that explains why this was under twenty dollars. It was like nineteen eighty eight or something like that. Um, but that's pretty. You know, it's cool. It's not a big problem. Um, if you want the water to heat up, if you get one, even if it's not this brand, if you get one that doesn't heat up water, you can simply just add your own hot water, and that's what I did. So I added my own hot water here, um, and, the, and I'm only using like a, a handful of products today. So in the water, I have Dr. Teal's um, Epsom salt with lavender, which anything with lavender, I'm almost out of this, I need some more. Um, I put some eucalyptus oil, some tea tree oil, and then I put two capfuls of Listerine. Now I know this seems really weird, but I've always heard for years for people who suffer from like really, um, like I don't know, bad calluses or if they just have really rough feet. I don't, I don't have calluses like that, um, but I do get, you know, like everyone who is human, you're, you get caked up skin on your feet, especially in the summer when you're wearing sandals all the time. Yeah, so I wanna just try it and see, you know, what it does if it does what it does um and so yeah this is what i'm using in my foot spot today so i'll be back after um the next clip i'll kind of show you with the the bubbles going and then i'll get into like what i'm going to be using for my pedicure Okay hey guys, so I finished my foot spa and I'm just going to quickly show you what I'm going to be using to do my nails today. Sometimes I go between using dip powder and press on nails, but I'm kind of like, I think I'm a little over the press on nails for right now. And so I want to just try the dip powder and the poly gel. So when I visited my cousin in Houston, um, some months back, some few months back actually, um, she had a new set or a new brand that I had never heard of, or new to me anyway, by the name Beatles um, Gel Polish. And so I bought the Poly Gel um, set, so you know you can make your own nails, or you can like put tips on and then use the Poly Gel. I think I'm just gonna do the Poly Gel over my own nails for now. 
but you can also make your own by using these forms if you want to make an extension nail but lately I'm more and not really lately for a while I've just been into very dainty short um, just classic nails I can't do long nails anymore um, so the kit comes with all of these different um, I'll try to do this one handed um, it comes with all these different um, poly gel colors And they're small, I guess, you know, so you can test them all out. And when you find one that you really like, I'm hoping that they have, like, a bigger size. But for now, this should be, like, pretty, like, a pretty decent size for me. Let me use my left hand. Um, so, so, we have white. That's number two. Um, where's number one? Number one is just clear. Okay, so if you want to do clear, you have that. Um, you have an option of like white, like I said, and then number three is a light, um, number three is a light pink, and then number four is a dark pink. And then it comes with, um, the base gel as well as the, um, the top gel. But I actually have two sets of these because I bought color um gel polish as well and so it has a set of this in there um this set also comes with a, um 180 grit nail file which this is always like needed um and then it comes with um <coughs> this brush and spatula to help you smooth out um the poly gel so one end is a brush the other end is a spatula to help you, you know, smooth it on. Um, it didn't come with a slip solution, but I've seen a ton of different videos from different, like, um, YouTubers who have majority nail videos on their channel. And some people just use alcohol, I believe. Um, so I may just use alcohol and try that. Um, and yeah, so that's all that comes in the nail extension gel kit and if i like it i'll show you guys how I'll, I'll you know tell you guys more in another video um but for now i'm not gonna really do an extension i'm just gonna um put gel over my nail and then again i don't know who knows when i get started i may change my mind i may do a short extension i'm not sure i'm just not sure yet because i chopped all my nails down for the purpose of doing an extension but now i just i'm not sure and then the second thing i got um, when I placed this order was the nail polish kit. They had various colors and it comes with 20. Um, I tried to get I tried to get one that had just multiple try to get this all open. They had multiple colors. Um, the only thing about this is you can't see the colors. Sorry. You guys can't see the colors until you like lift up the bottle. And the bottles are pretty small, but I mean, you're getting 20 polishes. So, again, once you find one you really like, you can just, you know, buy more. Um, I'm not really sure why I bought all these colors because I'm more of a neutral girl. Um, I'm more of the pinks and the whites and the nudes. I don't usually do colors like this, but, you know, I have them if I do decide one day to do, like, an accent nail. But for the most part, I really just wanted the nude colors. Um, and this is where we're getting into some of the needs here. So I can't wait to like swatch these. And I think I'm going to put a swatch like somewhere on here. So when I open it up, I'll know what's what. Or maybe even like right here above the bottle. But yeah, so it comes with 20 um, gel polishes. And here's some more, some more neutrals here. Um, and I think they look a bit different once you like put them on your hands and then of course I wear red so I do neutral but red is like my favorite so I can't wait to see like how deep this red is right here but yeah I'm going to go for a neutral look today though of course of course anything that resembles like bubble bath um, OPI's bubble bath that's my thing um, so yeah so this is what I'll be using today um, I'm trying to decide though on my feet, do I want to do white or nudie, a nude color? I think I'm probably going to do white on my toes. I may even do white on my hands, to be honest. I'm just, I'm not quite sure. 
and then this is the uv lamp that i bought i haven't tried it yet i'm really mad at myself but i was like like i said before going through a lot this past few months so i was placing orders and buying things but i wasn't using any of it and the time has passed i think to even return anything so i know this stuff is good because i tested out like my cousin did my nails for me quickly while i was visiting her in houston and i just fell in love so when i came back home i ordered this but the uv lamp i have not tested it out yet i just kind of bought this stuff and put it to the side i did that with a lot of stuff to be quite honest with you so it's like i'm opening new packages right now just like with the face steamer that my mother got me like i'm just now using all this stuff and i bought this because it advertised on the amazon page that you know you can also use this for your feet so if you decide to do gel on your feet you can put your little feet in here and do that but once i'm done i'll show you guys um if it works out i will show you guys my my hands and my feet you know if it works out so pray for your girl <laughs> and i'll be back just a little conversation a So this concludes this self-care saturday vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you got some kind of inspiration to have your own self-care day whether it be saturday sunday monday whatever i think self-care is so important not just physically but also mentally i didn't show it in the video but of course i read some good spiritual things and things to just uplift me you know put me back in a space and just calibrate everything when i'm feeling a little off kilter so yes yeah, so i hope you guys were motivated to do i don't know at least one of the things i did you don't have to do everything and have a full day like i did but you know doing your nails it's so many things that you can consider self-care just sitting down and reading something that you enjoy and that takes you away from stress in life that's self-care to me um doing your hair doing things to make yourself feel good so if that involves a long bubble bath self-care if that involves doing your hair going through i don't know a deep conditioning like wash day because i'm natural so we need a full wash day routine um anything like that anything that is bettering yourself physically mentally spiritually whatever that's self-care to me so anyway i hope with all this rambling i hope you guys get the point and i hope you found something that um inspires you to have a self-care day and just remember to take care of yourself um because you're worth it and if you're feeling if you're feeling off if you feel like you need to recalibrate if you're feeling like you need to retreat from the world it's okay um but i, I definitely advise you guys to have a um just a self-care day or a self-care moment because it, it will it's amazing what the self-care routines can do for you so with that being said i hope you guys um enjoyed this vlog today and if you're new thank you for coming to this channel and watching this far and if you would like i suggest you subscribe because i will be posting more content and hopefully i will see you around sometime this week or in the comments below bye guys